really have to learn to keep it under control, which I find hard because it's just so good. Hello friends. First and foremost, I should probably note two things. First of all, this is the last time you will ever see me in this loft ever, 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 ever because I'm moving tomorrow and there's going to be a video surrounding that but I might make an in-depth video about why I moved and where I'm moving and just the whole thing of, just the whole thing because it's a, it's a big thing. It's a very big thing. And second of all, if I sound nasally, which when I edit this video I'll figure out if I do, um, I have sinusitis so I'm very, very congested and I'm very, very sick. Um, so I'm sorry if I sound like an airhead. So in my makeup endeavors this month, I've had one interest and one interest only. Le highlight. Le highlight of le cheekbones. Which you may be able to notice on me now and I hope it's not too overpowering. Because that is one thing is you can go a little bit overboard on the highlight and contour and then it straight up looks tacky. So you really have to learn to keep it under control, which I find hard because it's just so good. One day at like 4 a.m. I purchased this online. The Dior Blush Light and Contour Duo Stick. And it's like a cream bronzer and highlighter. And the thing is, every single time I have shot something in the past like two months or three months, the makeup artists always use a cream like contour stick. I'm like, why do you use a cream? Like, is that better than actual powder? Because I always use powder, but every time they use cream, it just looks so much stronger and more natural. I also wanted to talk about my new favorite EOS lip balms, which I've been using probably since I was in like the ninth grade or tenth grade. And I don't know what it is, but every single thing on my body has been incredibly dry. I've been sick, so my lips have been incredibly chapped. My eyes have been incredibly dry. My whole body has just been very, very dry. My skin has been dry. Um, so this lip balm has really saved me. I just keep it in my bag and it's so damn cute. And the best thing is it smells so freaking incredible. This smells like vanilla, which smells like vanilla sugar. I think this is their new limited edition collection, which is for the holidays. Oh, this is honey apple. That's what it is. Okay. Anyway, so this is the new limited edition collection and they come with three. It comes with passion fruit and wild berry. Um, this one has been my absolute favorite. So, and then no more dry lips. Boom, bam. What's super convenient too is that they sell this stuff at like every single drugstore, so I wake up like a lot of times during the night or I do random stuff like mostly eat um, and then go back to sleep. But I bought this book one time when I woke up at 4 a.m. because I saw an Instagram of it and I was like, what is this book? Everyone is constantly posting the pages of this book. It's called Milk and Honey. This is a book of poems. I feel like a lot of my audience would like a book like this. I don't think I've ever picked up a book and legitimately read the whole thing in one sitting and could not put it down. Okay. I knew this would happen. Do you hear the sound? There's, they're filming a movie outside of my house, um, as per usual, and they're legitimately filming a helicopter scene in the building next to me. I woke up at six o'clock in the morning, so confused. I'm like, where is the helicopter? So yeah, basically, I highly recommend this book if you're into poetry, if you're into feelings, if you're into Tumblr, if you're into resonating with poetry from a girl that goes through essentially the same stuff as you and I do. It inspired me so much and it makes you feel better. That's the thing I love about literature is that it makes you feel like you're not alone. It can eloquently express what you're feeling and what you can't express. You just, you don't know how to put to words the things that you're feeling, but then someone does it for you. And I think that's incredibly beautiful. So, Milk and Honey, highly recommend this book. Let's run by fashion really quickly. So I have a favorite that I absolutely must talk about because I feel like a lot of people don't know about this. Um, so fishnets are incredibly cool now, right? Fishnets are back in fashion. Everyone loves fishnets. Everyone's wearing them. Um, I tend to love fishnet socks more. And the only place that I found fishnet socks was ASOS. And I ordered them online. I love wearing them with loafers, which I'll show you in a second. With loafers or sneakers even, boots. I have a red pair. And for some reason, they're fuchsia. And these like little baby pink ones. And these are so cool. Like, I don't know. I'm just obsessed with these. So definitely wanted to let you guys know in case you were wondering where I got them. Um, so, for some reason, I have become obsessed with loafers. When I went to Paris, um, I went to my favorite restaurant. You guys know, the, the rest, I, I said this in some video, that like, my favorite thing about Paris is as stupid as this sounds, there's this one restaurant that has an amazing salad with salmon, and I went back there, it wasn't as good as I thought it was. I think, you know when like, you go to a restaurant and you're really hungry and you think the food is like amazing and mind-blowing, but really you're just really hungry? Um, I think that's what it was. But anyway, what I was trying to say by that was that after I went to that restaurant, I went shopping um, before my fitting. And I went to Saint Laurent in Paris and I bought these shoes, which they're kind of like damaged at this point because I've been wearing them every single day on flights, Walking around the city, like doesn't matter. I've been wearing these non-stop, um, so they're kind of wrecked. But they look good with actually everything. Um, I bought these about a month ago, which they're kind of similar, but they're not. If you're a guy, you'll probably think they're the same thing. If you're a girl, you'll get me. Um, so these are by Celine. 
And they're essentially the same boot, same shoe, except they have a heel on them. So they're kind of cool. Um, I've been looking at these for a really, really long time, and until I realized that like I wear this stuff every single day, it makes sense for me to invest in shoes like this. Are you guys ready for this? This is actually the love of my life. So, backstory. I had a eye exam at Lens Crafters in Beverly Hills, and they actually told me that I'm farsighted, nearsighted? I don't quite remember, but basically I can't see far away. And I didn't know this was, it doesn't prohibit me from living, like I can't like not see stuff. I can see perfectly fine. My vision is like 20-20. But the doctor told me there's better than 20-20. Get that? I didn't know that. I thought 2020 vision was like the best, but it's not. I got glasses. I got prescription glasses, and when I put these glasses on, I am like in actual shock. I did not know the world could be this clear. It literally trips me out. Like, I feel like I've been missing out on life because I didn't know that like, like my vision was so blurred. And then I put these glasses on and I was like, oh my god. And that's a good thing because you guys know I'm obsessed with glasses as an actual accessory. My mom came to LA and she needed prescription glasses. We were in Venice. And I took her to Warby Parker, and I made her try these on. And I actually love the way that you know when you like make someone buy something so that you can wear it. Well, I fell in love with them so much that I actually got my own pair. So these are by Warby Parker, and again, I got my prescription lenses in them, and they're just so cool. I'm like obsessed with glasses. This is a Marc Jacobs highlighter, and this is in the color 700 Spotlight Glow Stick. Um, it just comes like this. It looks like a deodorant kind of, but it's for your cheeks, and I find this super convenient because all I do is tap this along my cheekbones and then just blend it out. It's super easy and the color of this is amazing. It's like a yellow white, but it looks super natural. The way it blends, it's super creamy. So really, really love this highlighter by Marc Jacobs. And then I wanted to talk about this eyeshadow, which I've been using. I got this in August and I have legitimately been using this every single day because it's the best. It is by Chanel. It's Le Quatre Ombre. Ombre, I can't speak French. <laughs> Ombre à paupières. Effect multiple multi effect coandre eyeshadow. Okay, basically, I think it's color 268. Condo et experience. Anyway, you might be thinking, what makes these colors so damn special, Sonia? I don't know, but these eyeshadows are just godsend. Like, the four of them together, just the best palette ever. And the thing is, it has a red eyeshadow, which I feel like many people don't use red eyeshadow, but they just look so good on my eyes or any blue eyes in general. They really bring out the blue. They just make me look kind of dead and cool and smoky. Like it's just, it's amazing. It's like the new purple, trust me. Red is a new purple. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was a face mask that I do interchangeably like every other day. So it's by Ole Henderson and this is called the Power Peel, um, which basically it's, okay, the thing that I love about this, when you do this at home, it legitimately feels like a facial. So it comes with the first part, which is a facial scrub. Um, and then the second part is called the lemon strip flash peel and then it kind of burns your face It's like a peel, but it's not as harsh and then the third part is a comfort mask a chamomile comfort mask um, So you do this three-step thing and it feels like you're actually giving yourself a facial And then the next day you wake up and your skin is legitimately clear So this I really love if you're into peels if you're into exfoliating if your skin tends to be clogged and I do a lot of videos about skincare I collaborate with a lot of skincare brands because it's just genuinely like if you've ever struggled with acne you know the pain it brings you, you know the inconvenience it brings you, you know the psychological trauma that it brings you, and then you realize that there's like certain things, certain products you can do if you really keep up a regime and you don't let yourself go every single day. Like I find it actually like relaxing, like it's comforting to know that I can go home at the end of the day and then like spend 30 minutes doing my face. Not doing my face, but like you know doing different masks and like cleaning my face and taking care of myself. I've been on the other side of the tunnel. It's not pretty, it's not fun, and I know a lot of people know that. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and um, so does my cat. Okay, guys, I'll see you later.